Welcome to Beyond Our Focus. I'm Stefan, this is Amanda, and this is Breaking Prisms for October 15th, where we go over Black Mirror, which we completely done. It was awesome. We loved it. Go check out our reviews for that. We've got, when we go over, Love, Death, and Robots, because that's still ongoing for us. It'll be out Thursday. And today we're going over The Twilight Zone, episode 24 of the first season. Called Long, long live. live Walter Jameson. I was going to say Long Live the King. Long Live Walter White. <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> the movie's coming out soon. Really? Yeah, it is. Hmm. I, I think maybe this Friday. It's supposed to be out, so. Wow. So I'm curious to see what it's going to be like. Hmm. But, other than that, this episode, spoiler free ish. Is about a man who's a different type of immortal yeah. trying to marry someone, and this guy's suspicious. Pretty much, it's it's pretty much about a teacher, a professor, Professor college, Walter Jamison, yes, who wants to marry his, this woman of his dreams, and the father is like, you know what, you're shady. And another person, <laughs> the. What was it uh, chemistry? No, no, no. He's a chemist. Or... Chemist. But what did he teach? Because he wanted, he's another one of the teachers at the school. Yeah. He specifically said what it was. I don't know. He said, uh, while they're talking, he said, I, you're the chemist. chemist. I'm so the... I guess, so he what, teaches science? I would say chemistry. Chemistry maybe. or whatever. Usually a chemist, chemistry. I no one really <laughs> Okay. It's very Kind difficult. of in the beginning of the word. No. So, another teacher going to marry his daughter and he just he's he's suspicious the dude just does not seem right to him even though he's known him for 12 years i think 12 this years 12 years and he feels like you know what you haven't aged a bit yeah something is weird i went from a man around. without a single wrinkle which At 58 58 which doesn't seem quite logical <laughs> to now being an old man and you, you haven't aged at all So yeah, that's the most interesting yeah, thing we can say about the episode. <laughs> that's, that's literally top level. Everything else, I guess, is spoilers. But this, honestly, guys, this episode wasn't really interesting enough to warrant that. Oh my goodness, we will spoil something if we don't get yeah. the description itself says he's immortal. So yes, so it's an interesting premise. The description of the episode was more interesting than the episode. Pretty much, yeah. We are kind of on the same point where we were with Purple Testament. Where it's like, okay, there's, a, there's an interesting premise going on here, but not utilized well at all. No. They did get the music right this time. The music was the music much music better. The music was great. Like, as soon as it opened up, I was like, hey, I like this. It's calm but eerie. Exactly. They were, And I don't think one time they do... Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Like, even um, when they do do any kind of, like, heavy reaction, it's it was still very subtle. Much more subtle compared to the last episode, which I still very much enjoyed. With but the music was... Oh, you, my geez. lord. It's a little but much. As far as this episode goes... I'm sorry, Kiwis. Sorry. Let's see. Where are invisible cubies at? I mean, you just have to think of it about yay big. So, I mean, they would cross the whole table. So there would be five of them. So it would be two here and two here. So if we just take one and... Throw it and we just pat the other one off. And... Oh, one more. I see. Yeah, there's like one more. I mean, there's, there's two still invisible cubes. And that one's gone. So, that leaves us with uh, one invisible cube and one actual cube. For two cubes. Yes, we gave, gave this one a two out of five. As I said, the premise was interesting. The music was good. The acting was actually really good, too. But... It just wasn't a very interesting episode. No. It's just... I feel like they wouldn't have had done much to get a little higher out of us yeah. here. But it's just... They just... Didn't. <laughs> no. So, if you guys want to give it a try before we sneak into spoilers... Please go watch it. I mean, Feel it free. is only, what, 24 minutes of your life. It's not very long. And if you enjoy The Twilight Zone, yeah. which is why you're here, then it's not a bad episode by no means. It's just not a great episode either. It's just no. kind of boring. 
So if you can stand really loud, annoying, screeching noises, go watch the other episode. <laughs> Last episode, actually, I thought was very yeah. good. Very much enjoyed that episode. So, spoilers, which really is, we can go off of, when I said a different type of immortality. When I think immortality, when I think the immortality that I want, it's not being able to die. So immortality and invincibility, pretty much. But that's generally the, when you think immortality. Yes, that's, that's what you the think. First thing. I think I'm thinking, hey, I can't be killed. That's, See, I would say that as far as any kind of general term of immortality, I completely agree. But if I were to think of like one of the main things that comes up when you think, oh, who's immortal? I think vampires, which technically they're not invincible. They live forever unless you friggin' stab them. <laughs> and that's accordingly, according to yes. which version and how and when and where yes. and why. And... Technically, vampires can be killed with different methods and <sighs> also if you kill the lead vampire or whatever, all of them are fine or dead or whatever. There's a lot yeah. There's a lot of uh, myths and crap about vampires in different ways and how tied they are to the Christian faith yes. and crosses and holy water and sparkling. Yes. Very glittery. He's 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 going from glittery to just. But Batman. when I when I when I think <laughs> immortality, I think living forever, but also semi invincible. At least yeah. semi invincible. Yeah. I cannot easily be killed. Not this guy. No. This guy, perfectly ordinary in every way. He just lives forever. Yes. He just does Doesn't not age. age. When I think when I think immortality, I'm thinking more like Logan. This is true. That's the immortality I want right there. This man, which he doesn't live necessarily forever, yeah. just insanely long. Doesn't age as fast. Hyper heals pretty much. Mm -hmm. just... Or give me the, the cheerleader from Heroes. Another good one. <laughs> oh. So, but yeah, he's just kind of normal he doesn't he, he doesn't try really hard to avoid pictures of any kind by getting his photo out there he's not really trying to hide it that hard it's almost as though he doesn't really expect anyone to look into it it's almost as though because he feels he has what he thinks a great method for how to live his life he doesn't expect to have anyone ever follow up on it until he meets old dude which he didn't even follow up with. He just stayed with him longer than a decade. And the guy's like, this guy still looks as young as the day I met him. This man's not aging a bit. And he should be kidding my right, close to me. And he's not. I think it was jealousy. And then once you research a little bit, it's like, oh, there's a photo of you from... The Civil War, I think. Yeah, yeah he said the Civil War, which would be... When did the Civil War happen? Oh, my goodness. They had the year on there too. I feel so stupid. That's not the right Civil now. War. That's that's that one. So it's between there and there. When is it's the Civil 18... War? Eighteen? No. Oh. No, it was eighteen something. Eighteen was it? Eighteen sixty? No. Because they mentioned it. Yeah, it, it was, was something like 1864, that. Eighteen sixty-four. Eighteen. You no, know, that's like no. the one war I can oh, truthfully not tell you at the moment. Like, oh, the, like the American Revolution. Done. I totally know when all that happened. The First I World I... War. The Second World War. But. The, the Civil War. I feel bad, guys. Uh, we're, we're not historians. Just throwing that out the, there. The, I, it's the mid-18th century. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty confident it's in there somewhere. We're just going to scoot <laughs> over here. And now going back to what we were talking about. Um, yeah, he's seen in a book. Yes. And uh, the guy asks him, it was your grand, great, was your grandfather or great-grandfather or something in the, in the Civil, Civil War? War. Yeah. So it's just... <sighs> At that point, don't you think... Okay, so many people nowadays, nowadays are going back through pictures and photos and paintings going, this looks like Leonardo DiCaprio and this looks like Keanu Reeves and yada, yada, yada. So... At that point, if someone says, hey, was your great-grandfather or whatever in the war, wouldn't you just be like, yeah? Sure. I mean, you have a reason not really not to. But that's why I know the story so well. Because I was told from my grandfather or whatever. Like, blah, it, blah, blah. If you don't even want it to be that, like, you know, like, just a, a relative of some Pictures sort. Pictures get him in trouble twice in this episode. 
Yes. One with this, and the second one with the old crazy lady, who was one of his ex-wives who he left. Yes. Who, I saw your picture in the paper announcing your engagement. I didn't even know they still did that, but yes. Apparently, who knows. So, the man just, you're immortal. Supposedly, you've lived for 2,000 years as a perfectly ordinary man through multiple wars and made it out unscathed. He's apparently very, very lucky. Does immortality come with super luck? His does. It's a, it's a bit much. But you've never learned to avoid photographs. You're not like a vampire or something <laughs> here, okay? Just tell everybody you think it steals your soul and no one will take a picture of you. I mean, um... What's it called? Uh, a l- simple favor. She oh. avoided photographs more than this guy did. She also threatened to kill you if you, uh... Exactly! She did it the right way! In a day of social media, where photos are everywhere! She was like, no! Dude, at this point, you wouldn't get away with it. Someone would be like, I saw this person, this person, oh, you're in the background of that person's photo, no, no, you're no. on a security this day camera and age, somewhere. You couldn't stick around in a town longer than a few years, and you'd have to just constantly be on the move. Because you, you couldn't. And you would have to change your look. We've talked about this before. Yes. That's why if you get immortality, you also need shape-shifting with it. Because then you can be anybody you want forever. Yeah, pretty much. You're like, oh, no, nope, need a new life. Nope, need a new life. Nope, I, need a new life. Well then, well, then you also can age it properly, too. You could stay in a place. And just gradually make yourself look older as time goes on. And then at some and point... And then tragically die and then show up somewhere else as someone new. <sighs> fake your death somehow you fell into a ravine or something <laughs> and then you just disappear off the face of the earth and then you're a new person or if you really just get retired in a relationship you just oh he just went for the paper he never came back i don't know what happened to him oh my goodness. and no longer you now no what longer him you're her you're you're living in china or something as a, a little chinese lady the uh the father that went out for smokes you know that what are we talking about? Uh, it's it's the whole, uh, when you talk about families and stuff where the dad just leaves, you talk about, they, everybody always jokes about, oh, my, my dad went to go get a pack of cigarettes one day and never came back. So. My, I took mine from a song that was from oh. Passenger. <laughs> it's like the mother effer, uh, or the, he went out for the paper and the mother effer never came back. Oh, well. <laughs> That's from the song. That's, that just went directly with that. But anyway, we are way, way off in some other. We're talking about somewhere. immortality because immortality is awesome. So shape shifting <laughs> is awesome, and both those things are kind of in this week's theme. Okay. So, as far as this episode goes, really the only thing that spoiler is he goes back to his house after kind of arguing with the man and then saying, I'm marrying your daughter pretty much no matter what. No one will believe you if you try to tell him I'm immoral. Yeah, so he goes back to his house and sure enough, one of his ex-wives, who apparently they're still married because she said, you're my husband. Like, not my ex-husband, you are my husband. So well, I he probably maybe just he disappeared, just... I don't know. But either way, so he, she's waiting in his room in his house, which apparently they don't lock doors around there. No, God, no. And uh, they get into like a little, oh my goodness, oh, I'm not going to let you hurt women anymore because all you're going to do is keep doing this and using women, or not using women, I get one more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, using women, pretty much. Uh, just starting these relationships over and over again and breaking people's hearts. I'm not going to let you do it. So Picks up his revolver and shoots him. Yes. To which... <sighs> Strangely, the man has said he'd been close to death many times. Why this time, when he got close to death, he aged like a son of a gun? Well, because he was finally dying. But was he... He'd been close to death, which means he had been to points where he'd been close. He didn't age 50 years at that point. This point, the man didn't die till five minutes after he was on the ground and all of ash. It's a different kind of death. What is it? Dorian Gray? When he finally sees a picture, he starts aging again. Never mind. <laughs> you never heard of Dorian Gray? Name sounds familiar, but I, I don't know. It's, 
If anything else, have you seen the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? I have. Okay. Dorian Gray, the guy with the picture? You know, the painting of himself? I've seen the movie once. Oh, okay. Well. It's been a long time. Pretty much the legend of Dorian Gray is that he has a picture of himself, but he can't look at the picture because the picture pretty much collects his age. Like, he can stay young forever because his picture ages for, ages for him. So if he ever sees his picture, he immediately just gains all those years back. So. Interesting. Yeah. Really interesting. Okay, well, I like that. That's interesting. But, yeah, yeah, so she kills him, and he turns to Ash, and then no one really questions it a whole lot. It's just dust on the floor. No. No big deal. He literally, She literally asks, what's that on the floor? And then he goes, it's just dust, and then closes the door. And everyone just kind of gives up. That was it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. This could have been more interesting. Yeah. I, I wanted know. it to be know. more interesting. I love I immortality. Too. Again, immortality and shape-shifting. This, the, this week's theme. So today was the immortality, and Thursday we'll have some shape shifting stuff going on. But that's 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 a lot better than this. So two out of five, guys. We have uh, at least some hope for the next one. We hope, maybe, possibly. It's about Mars. It's about Mars. It is about Mars. We're going to Mars. People are the same everywhere. Even on Mars, except they're tall, green, and forearms. <laughs> Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I saw it in the movie. It's got to be true. If you only could jump that high. <sighs> well, less gravity. Come on. Anyway. Anyways. So, yeah, two out of five. It was what it was. So, as always, you can reach me at Stars on Child, reach Amanda at KZ Pup, reach Joe at Beyond Her Focus everywhere, including YouTube podcast services around the globe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. No one really 2000 knows. 2,000 years. From now. If only if only I was there, I'd let you know. You won't be there, but I'd be there. No. Cool. Anyways, <laughs> um, any there. final thoughts? I think we're good. Till next time. Long days and pleasant nights.